TB transmission and pathogenesis. Tuberculosis is an infection which spreads through the droplets from the cough of an infected person which remain in the air for several hours. When the droplets are inhaled by another person, they travel down the person's trachea to reach the lungs where they get deposited in the alveolar sacs. Here, the TB bacteria multiply, activating the body's immune response, resulting in macrophages surrounding the bacteria to form granulomas, thereby containing the spread of the TB infection in the lungs. The patient tests positive for latent TB infection within 8 to 10 weeks. Latent TB infection can progress to full-blown TB disease when the bacteria break out of the granulomas and multiply in the lungs, making the patient sick from TB disease with the likelihood of infecting other individuals. This could happen immediately after the infection, many years later, or not at all. When the TB bacteria escape from a granuloma and infect the person's lungs, the condition is known as pulmonary TB. A cut section of such granulomas often show a cheese-like appearance, known as caseating necrosis. The primary site of TB infection in the lungs is known as organ focus and is usually seen in the upper part of the lower lobe or the lower part of the upper lobe. When the TB bacteria enter the bloodstream and spread to other parts of the body, especially the lymph nodes, kidneys, brain or bones, the condition is known as extrapulmonary TB. Prevention of TB in countries where the disease is common is through the administration of a BCG vaccine in infants, which prevents the development of severe TB in children. The vaccine, however, is not very effective in the prevention of TB in adults. Dozens of new TB vaccines are presently in the various stages of development and testing, with the objective of developing a more effective vaccine for the most affected regions of the world.